à, trong cái ngày hôm đấy không phải là bất cứ người lính Mỹ nào họ cũng đồng ý tham gia vào cái cái vụ thảm sát này mà có rất nhiều người à, chúng tôi chỉ là một trong số những người chống lại cái hành động đó. À, thưa ông uh, Tâm Sơn và ông uh, Cô Bân, tôi yeah, là uh, tôi là con của uh, bà cụ uh, đã được các ông cứu uh, trong năm 1968. I'm the I'm the son of my ma, of my ma, of my mom. Có ngày hôm nay uh, rescue my mom in 1968. Có được ngày hôm nay là chúng tôi uh, vô cùng biết ơn các ông đã And, uh, đã Now cứu... today we see each other. I have to say we sincerely thank you for what you did to my family. Yes. What do you remember of that day? Anh nhớ còn nhớ cái gì về cái ngày hôm đấy không? Thì ngày hôm nay cũng là cái ngày mà đau buồn của gia đình chúng tôi. Bởi vì And vào ngày này cách đây 30 năm thì cha tôi cũng đã bị đồng đội các ông sát hại. And today is also just a very bad day for our for our family because uh, my father died because of the American soldiers who killed my dad now on that day 30 years ago. Người mà gây ra tội ác thì chúng tôi luôn luôn ghi nhớ nhưng người kiểu ăn nhân đã giúp gia đình chúng tôi thì chúng tôi luôn trân trọng. Dạ ông là đã có vợ được mấy con à? So, uh, Mr. Thompson, uh, how many children do you have? I have three boys. À, tôi có ba đứa con trai. À, à ông là, à, tôi hiện nay là ba con ba. I also have three. Do you have three? À. <cười> Hello. Nhỏ thấy chưa? And uh, but they are still young. They still here. Yeah. Yeah. You were real young then. Yeah. How old? How old were you? Uh, Invite you to have coffee together with some uh, food from our garden. Uh, this is from your garden. Thank you. Uh, I feel renewed. I feel fulfilled to see a family that's survived and continued to thrive and survived the, the tragedy and the heartbreak of war. I sincerely hope we can learn from our mistakes and become a, a peaceful world and, and not ever let atrocities like this happen again. It's very rewarding. Uh, there's a lot of sorrow. There's a lot of happiness. There's a lot of shame. Uh, there's a lot of anger, and anger is not directed at the Vietnamese people. It's directed at my fellow soldiers who went crazy that day, and I'm I'm just real sorry that my crew could not have done more. I'm extremely sorry for my fellow Americans for what happened. It wasn't right. It wasn't war, and I pray to God something like this never happens again. Thompson and Corburn are back to meet life to attend the 30th anniversary of the massacre. They also want to meet the boy they had rescued from the ditch. The boy's name is Do Ba, Mike Bohm told us. When they were taking the boy to Quang Ngai Hospital, Colburn turned to look at Thompson, and he saw tears were running down his face. Colburn knew that Thompson had a son the same age back in the States, beyond the ocean. But the boy is not at home, so they go to the village primary school to talk to the children. The thank yous that have been given to the People's Committee of the province and the district and all the people who have traveled so many miles to come here and attend this ceremony. Trước nhất chúng tôi xin cảm ơn Ủy ban Nhân dân tỉnh, Ủy ban Nhân dân huyện Sơn Tịnh và tất cả các đồng bạn từ các nơi đã về đây ngày hôm nay. We cannot forget the past. À, chúng tôi không thể nào quên được quá khứ. But we cannot live with anger and hatred either. Và cũng đồng thời chúng tôi không thể sống trong sự đau khổ, trong sự tức giận. 
So today, we put that anger and hatred behind, but we remember the past and learn the lessons from the past. Chúng tôi, chúng tôi phải dẹp qua cái sự giận dữ đó, cái sự hận thù đó để mà làm được cái điều tốt đẹp trong tương lai. Now with this new park for peace for Milai. Right, đây là cái công viên hòa bình của Milai. My chairman will also will come over here very often. Mike is the director of the Milai Peace Park project. Besides building a park here, the project also wants to provide assistance for the local hospital, build a new 20-room primary school, and expand a revolving loan fund for the poor women in Mi Lai. This project has 30 members on its advisory board who are famous people all over the world, including Professor Noam Chomsky, Don Luce, Gore Vidal, and Archbishop Desmond Tutu from South Africa. The Peace Park in Vietnam was inspired by a visit by a North Vietnamese Army veteran to a Wisconsin Vietnam Veterans Memorial in 1990. This experience was so profound that a poem was written a few days later by one of the Americans saying that I looked into the eyes of my enemy and saw myself. To kill him would be suicide, to love him salvation. That experience was the inspiration for the Vietnamese American Peace Park. When I came to Vietnam, I was young, just like almost all the American soldiers that came over here. We were, we were children, 17, 18, 19 years old, and we believed our government, we believed our parents, who told us that we were doing the right thing for the people of Vietnam. And we came to Vietnam and we saw it was a lie. But it was too late. We had to do things that we can't live with just to survive. And now many American veterans have committed suicide. Many have been overcome by drugs, alcohol, some sleep on the streets. And many feel like me, that we must live our lives now to help the Vietnamese people to somehow overcome the past. I came back to Vietnam from 1992, my first time since the war. I was overcome by many emotions, anger, guilt, remorse, and I felt that I needed to do something more for the, for the Vietnamese people. So I came to My Lai and I gave an offering of music to the spirits of the dead, of the dead Vietnamese people and the dead American people. I played my violin, but I felt I needed to do even more because the Vietnamese people were hurt physically, but the American people were almost destroyed spiritually. that I play, although I am not very skilled, comes from my heart. And it expresses my feelings and my emotions more than words ever could. I thought of two tunes to play, and I thought for a long time. Those tunes, Ashokan's Farewell and Taps, represent songs from our own civil war where brother fought brother. And it's, the first tune is a, is a symbol of reconciliation and peace within our country. The second short tune is farewell to those who have died in war. Farewell and rest in peace.
Now the American friends and the CBS team are heading for the airport to get back to their busy life in America. Tim Larimer, a Time reporter in Hanoi, wrote in his article on the 16th of March 1998, Uncle Sam has given nothing. Mi Lai is still a poor area where people scratch out their living from the soil and from the sea. Yes, Mi Lai has somehow revived, but it still is a poor place. It is not easy to build up something from such disastrous past. Assisting these people in the rebuilding of Mi Lai into a prosperous land where people have enough to eat and happy life will be the hope and the wish of everyone near and far. Mike, we believe you will be back to Mi Lai with your violin and play new tunes. <laughs>